Ghana. God, I love Ghana. Ghana is a big city and I love Ghana. No, I don't Congo. like Ghana. Don't you don't like, like Ghana? No. Why? Have you been there? No. They say people where they there, they, they do a shower work. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't want to you don't like Ghana? No. I can go to Ghana for vacation, but home is always home. I'm not just a Nigerian, eh? I am an evil woman. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I love my Niger. I love my overall life. Um, things can be better. Hello, the Jesse Pepper and Pays. Hello, the Jesse Sugar Sugar. Welcome back to our channel. This is Jesse, as always. Jesse Pepper and Pays. Pepper and Pays. Jesse Sugar Sugars. Oh, sugar, sugar. So, guys, today I have decided to go to the street of to ask people which country, which African country would they prefer and which. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Eze Asamta Chizova. What do you do for a living? Oh, my occupation is fashion and designing. Wow. I'm glad to have you here Thank on you. my channel. So, I think my subscribers and viewers want to know. Which African country do you love the most? So which African country would, would you prefer to go? I love Ghana. You love Ghana. What yeah. is your reason? I want to go there so I can make, you know, a month of money, you know, to help myself in future. You want to go and make money in Ghana. What is your other reasons? Make something in life so that maybe in future I'll help my family. Do you think it's going to be easy for you to live in Ghana? Mm. I think with the grace of God, I think it will be hard. Have it's you been to Ghana before? I have not been there before, but my siblings are is there. So what have they told you about Ghana? They said Ghana eh, is nice, but when you come there, you look and onto maybe something that you guys are doing. You no, know, you join them and what they are doing. So you make maybe if you want to make money there, you can make any amount of money you need by hustling. So what are your siblings doing there? Some of them are working in one company or the other, something like that. You are not even sure where they are working. I'm not, I'm not sure because I'm not there with them. So none of them are into business. Um, one of them is into business. Then. So basically, you would love to go to Ghana. Oh my God, I love to go to Ghana. Do you know Ghana is very expensive? Mm, oh my God, I don't know. I've not been there. So before you go to Ghana, forget about all the beautiful, beautiful things people come to post on Instagram, yeah. and Facebook, and other social media platform. Life in Ghana is not easy. If you have made up your mind to go to Ghana, there are so many other things you should put into consideration. One of them is you must be financially capable. Firstly, living in Ghana is very expensive. The accommodation, the feeding, and every other thing that comes in between. So you have to be mentally prepared and also be prepared to the fact that Ghanaians have um, one kind of attitude towards Nigerians. So you have to prove yourself that you are trustworthy, you have integrity, you are hardworking, and you are morally upright for them to accept you, which is going to take time. So this is my own um, little advice to a friend who has the intention of going to Ghana. So thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. What is your name? My name is IJ Baby. Uh, she's IJ. Her name is Ijoma. So the meaning is um, was go well. Go well. Go well, right? Okay. So that's the meaning so of Ijoma. Yes. So Ijoma, how long have you been in, on this business? I've been in this business nine years now. Nine years. Yes. No. And you haven't gotten a car. No, I haven't got. You a haven't car. built a house. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will soon build my house. <laughs> what was your motivation behind starting um, a stylist business? I do have all the skills. Why did you choose to learn how to make hair? I like it. What other reason do you uh, do you have? I like to make hair, and it's my talent. When I'm in school, it's my talent. So I used to make hair in school. While you were in school, were they paying you? No, just I'm just doing it for my students, my fellow students. So are you going to say that um, hair business is um, uh, lucrative? Lucrative. Yes. So what you are saying is that you make a lot of money from making people to look beautiful. Yes, I make a lot of money. Like how much do you make in a week? In a week, sometimes I make 15,000. It depends how work. And when um, there's no work, um, what's the minimum? When there's no work, I make 10,000 now. 
Wow, that's a huge sum of money. That means in a month you are making roughly 60k. Yeah. That is some people's salary working in the government though. <laughs> now, if you are asked to leave Nigeria, where would you love to go? I would like to go to Canada. Canada? Yes. And what other country? And UK. Now, you say you want to go to Canada yes. and UK. Yes. Now, this um, Western world, Africa. if you are asked to choose a country in Africa, which country will you go? Like, like Ghana, Togo, no, Congo? No, I don't like Ghana. Don't you don't like, like Ghana? Ghana. No. Why? Have you been there? No. They say people where they there, they, they do a shower work. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't want to go there. Nigerians <laughs> in, um, Nigerians, um, in Ghana, are doing prostitution. Uh, they are doing prostitution. Now, what I hear. So you are saying that there is no other job yeah, no for them to do. No. What? Why? Why are you saying so? South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. It's good. So what do you know about Ghana? Because you said the women they are doing prostitution, and I really yeah. don't like that. Yeah. What do you know about Ghana? I don't know anything about it, but I'm hearing from other people's mouths. What if what you heard is not true? It's false. I don't know. I don't know. But my my sister, my husband's sister is there. I don't know. She's a young lady. I don't know what she's doing there. So are you still fully saying she's prostituting? Yes. Yes, you know. Because when she comes back, there is some attitude I, I see from her. I think you are too hasty in concluding when you have not even he um, hear from her. No. Since then, she has not been calling me. But she's requesting for money to give her money so that she'll come back. She doesn't have relatives in, in Ghana? I don't know. No, no, I'm not there, but I would not like to go to Ghana. Even if you know you are going to make a lot of money in Ghana? Like, this country, like, or Dubai. I will manage Dubai. You will manage Dubai. You have not even gone to Lagos. <laughs> you will manage Dubai. Even with some money you don't have. You will manage. I manage Dubai, though. Haven't experienced some life in Ghana? Would you want at any point to finally move your things, your business, your family to Ghana? I'm not just a Nigerian, eh? I am an evil woman. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I love my Niger. I love my overall life. Um, things can be better and I can go to Ghana for vacation, but home is always home. So apart from Ghana, is there any other African country that you would love to visit? I've heard a lot about Kenya. Yeah. So I'd like to go to Kenya, maybe. Hello. Hello guys, so I am here with a teller. She, so I'm going to be interviewing her on what on what she thinks slash knows um, about Ghana. She also has um a brother-in-law in Ghana. So what's your name? My name is what do you do for a living? I'm a teller designer. You, what do you know about Ghana? Ghana is a big city and I love Ghana because they have a electricity. That place is very good, it's very nice. My brother is lived there and my brother in law is still lived there. So I love the way they are going on. So I love that. Okay, you last they had um Ghana has constant yes. electricity. Yes. Are you sure and that what they are saying is true? And their material, I love that. Do you have any of the Agana material? Yes, my mother used to bring it. Mm. You have any currently? Yes. I've not seen you wear any of them. I don't have the chance. <laughs> Between Nigeria and Ghana, which country would you prefer to live in? Okay. I love this Ghana. Why Ghana. do you want to live in Ghana? I love that place because that place is very nice to live. This place, nothing going on on this place. So if you are given the opportunity to move your um, sorry your tailoring business, your fashion business to Ghana, are you going to go? Yes. Do you actually know that Ghana is very expensive to live in compared to Nigeria? Of course I know that. Are you ready? Do you have the financial capacity to relocate or move to Ghana? Yes, if I had the chance, this place I would locate to Ghana. Okay, so guys, you have heard her. She's a fashion designer here in Nigeria, and she said um, she's choosing Ghana over Nigeria. And some of the points she stated is one because of the electricity, one because of the electricity, two because of the stability. She said she likes their materials, um, their native ways, and if she gets the opportunity, the chance, the space, she wants to move there.